Welcome to Spit Bucket. This week we've got something very special. We're here with Michelle Chapoutier out from the Rhone Valley. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you. Now, we've been having a look at some of your wines and they've been absolutely wonderful. You're going to tell us a bit about them. We've got a, a couple here to, to have a look at as well. So, tell us a bit about your involvement with Chapoutier, when you became involved and the direction. So, Chapoutier is an old winery. Uh, I've bought this winery from my grandfather when it was on the point to make bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. in uh, end of 89, beginning of 90. Uh, and now I am in charge of the winemaking and the vine growing and, uh, the, the, and all the philosophy. Since I've bought this winery, the totality of our vineyards are in biodynamic culture. Mm -hmm. yep. And my obsession is each time to be sure that the wine is the photography of the terroir. So it's always good to, to say again and again, what is the terroir? Yeah. The terroir is the conjunction of soils, climates, humans. I say in plural, because soils, there is the pedological and the geological. Yeah. Climate, is, everywhere there is some microclimate, sure. but also there is the vintage. The vintage is a part of the terroir. Okay. And human is the tradition and the talent of the present people, the know-how. I insist on the, on the climate, the terroir. For me, there is differences between vintages. We should, by respect of the terroir, never try to correct them. Okay. Okay. A colder yeah. year should be lower than alcohol, higher in acidity. A warmer year, higher in alcohol lower in acidity. So you see rather than good years, bad years, you see different years? Different years. What is the good years? If we would judge women like that, we will all want to be married with the same one. You know? <laughs> diversity. Yeah. We need diversity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, now, looking at your, uh, because you use a single variety from the single yes. vineyard. Okay. And your, your white variety, your main white variety is the Marsan. Marsan. And we've got a Marsan from the... the Chateauet from Hermitage. Wonderful. Now I'll just... Uh... The vines are uh, beginning of the 20th century, planted in the beginning of the 20th century. So, over 100 years old. Which is quite common in France. Okay. Uh, we so are... The phylloxera on... problem... Did yeah, it was 1870. Oh, so these are planted after... Uh... Yes. Okay. We know we have also a vineyard which were planted in 1850 before the phylloxera. Okay. And because it is on the top of the mountains, where there is north wind, yeah. the phylloxera never arrived because of the north wind to fight against the wind. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Because the Rhone was one of the first places to see phylloxera, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, okay. Sorry, we'll get back onto the wine. So 100% Marsan and the sediment soil. Yeah. We have the characteristic, you know, in the nose. Honeysuckle, orange flower, mm. acacia, wild yeast. So there is a good diversity of, uh, of aromas. Okay. Yeah. And Almost what do you. Sort of a Mandarin character, too. Because we harvest them when they are good maturity, the level of acidity is quite low. But you feel the bitterness. That was the interesting thing you were saying before, that that's a characteristic of the grape. Extremely interesting. Mm. Like a red grape, like a red wine, you have a bitterness, like a tonic. It does, right at the finish, you do get that slightly yes. bitter character, which is quite, it's, it's quite for fascinating. That, it's a wine which is able to be aged 50 years, even with a low level of acidity. But in the same time, that's a wine fascinating to play with matches like curry. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You know, a curry uh, yeah. lamb, yeah. I would prefer to have a wine like that than a red wine. Oh, there you go. Yeah, one of the things I know, your masan, when you look at the Australian masan, yours is much more intense, uh, more powerful style of wine. Would that be fair? Uh, yeah, probably because we look for the full maturity to have even the phenolic maturity. Yep. And we are not scared by this bitterness, which is not always understood by a lot of tasters. It, but if you weren't expecting it, it would come as a bit of a surprise. Yeah, but you know, we make rare wine, which are sometimes a little esoteric. 
but that's the case of rare wines. All right, Michelle, this one, your uh, Cizeron. Cizeron, 100% syrup. Mm -hmm. I like to remind people that was discovered five years ago by the work of Carol Meredith from UC Davis, the parents of the Syrah. She worked on the genome of the oh, yes, Syrah. Yes, yes. And the parents are the Dureza, which is a red grape, and the white molders. And she could prove like that, that the birthplace of Syrah, or Shiraz, was around Hermitage. Okay, yep. So, so we've gone right back to ground zero with this. <laughs> Here and is you've got a number of uh, vineyards in Hermitage. Hermitage is 123 hectares, mm -hmm. and we own 34 at Chapoutier and 4 at Ferraton, which is another old company that okay. we have. And what makes the Cizeron different to, say, your Pavillon? Or? Because it is not a single vineyard. A single vineyard ah. is always from one yep. place. Here, it is from three different places, from three different soils. Okay. Hermitage is the only one place in the world where you have four different soils from the four different geological age period. Wow, okay. You have primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary. And look, I mean, this is a, uh, a beautiful wine. So that smell the flint. You know, the... The minerals the, and so on. Yeah, the, the smell of the rain in summer on the hot stone. Then you have the pepper, mm. the black currant. You do get the spices. A little touch of graphite. Graphite, mm -hmm. graphite, yep, you graphite, know, yep. the cold fireplace. Do you remark how round is it? It's very so supple character. Very silky. Mm. We have six weeks of skin contact. And all the unstable tannins will go back to the skin. But the difference is this is done only with the free run wine. Okay, yep. No pressing. No, the press wine will be used to make a brandy. Okay. Then the brandy will be aged 20 years before to be proposed. Well, Marcel, thank you so much for uh, Thank coming. you. Remember, we spit so you don't have to. Cheers. <laughs>